Um, I'm curious to hear your opinion on what you think are the domestic industry segments you think are most overvalued and undervalued today. Well, I, I, as I said, that, that to be a successful investor, you don't really have to know everything. You don't have to be a creamer who claims he knows everything, every stock. Uh, in fact, that if you truly know something, they tend to really fall into a small circle. Uh, what Buffett would like to, Munger would like to call the circle of competence. You would have find in your circle. That circle tend to be small. So every time you hear people talking about, oh gee, I think that industry is overvalued, this industry is undervalued, I, I, that is not intellectually honest to me at least. Uh, investing, the last thing you want is to have that air of error. You know, arrogance might be a too strong word, but I, I think it, the more honest you are intellectually, the more prosperous you tend to be. I have never found any intellectually arrogant people who can successfully practice the game of the investment. First of all, thank you for coming. Um, you talk about finding you know, great financial dislocations to try and find these tremendous upside situations. Would you maybe expound on your research? Like, how do you find these, these great dislocations where things are trading at 10% of what they were? Well, I, I find, as I look at in my own career, uh, of all the ideas that I find, they really tend to come from uh, all sources. Uh, I don't have a particular rule where they come from. If you have a curious mind, if you study all the time, you maintain a good network of relationship with other smart, intelligent investors that have a way of really looking into what they do, you tend to find a lot of a source of interesting ideas. And in today's age, uh, because this, this, this regulatory requirement was disclosure, uh, I wouldn't be surprised you can really find a lot of great ideas uh, just out of reading publicly available information. It is judging what is a good opportunity that is really difficult. What's the process like of you uh, finally develop conviction and idea? Is that kind of like an aha moment, or can you describe how you come to that? Well, one of my favorite ways to describe the uh, uh, conviction of idea is that if you can find the most intelligent person who would oppose your idea and you're able to argue more successfully than he does against your idea, that is when you can develop or you're entitled to some views. Um, and even then, you want to really confine yourself to a small segment of things that, that you think you're right. Uh, and of course, as you uh, gain more experiences, your circle tends to expand, but only small and gradual uh, over time. So I think of being intellectually honest is a huge requirement of being a successful analyst and a successful investor.